All right, now it's very important that you remember the wire, this nut has to go on the switch, right? So the switch is gonna stick through. If we just stick this, this switch through the hole and then attach the wire to it, and don't put this nut around the wire first, we're gonna have a hard time. We're gonna have to disconnect it and redo it again. And that's a real pain, especially if you're using a soldered uh, switch. So what we wanna make sure we do is we run this through the nut and then attach it to the switch after we put it through the hole. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so remember we got our wire run through this, which is gonna fit to the back of the switch. But to make it easier to work on, I'm gonna pull the wire out and work on it outside. And then uh, I can always put the switch back through there. And again, this just makes it a little bit easier to work on instead of having to try to crawl up underneath there. And in this case, I wouldn't be able to get the screwdriver uh, underneath there anyway, so this will make it easy. Alright, that's tight. And our wire's tight, so we're good to go. Getting that to go through there and then the nut on the back. So now we got to run the wire, the hot wire, to here. And then uh, that's going to go over to the, to the siren wire. So we've got some wire here, and it's stripped and ready to get connected there and then the other end of this will go to the siren. So again we're going to run this through our our, uh, our switch nut up through the hole and then we'll connect this over here on this side. So that's tight, it's got a good connection. And at this point, I can go ahead and put this, this mounting screw on the, uh, on the switch. Because we're done with the switch now. Make sure it's nice and pretty and the horn is pointed upwards or the way I want it. I can't even see. Anyway, and if it's not, I can always loosen it and turn it, rotate it a little bit. All right, so that's nice and snug now. Now we can hook up the, uh, the horn. So one side of the horn is going to hook to the switch. So we're going to make sure we got enough uh, wire here to work easily with that. We'll cut this and strip it. Alright, so we got a couple options now. We could we could take and solder this and wrap it with some tape. But uh, I think I'm just gonna put a wire nut on it. Quick and easy. I'm just gonna twist those two pieces of wire together and then uh, I'll put a little wire nut on there. If, uh, if my switch was real close to here, I wouldn't have had to even mess with this other little wire. I just could have ran this wire directly to the switch. But uh, at any rate, we got those twisted together. Put a wire nut on there. And then now we got to run this wire uh, out, to the, out to the battery. Out to the positive uh, connection for the battery. Now, some of you may be saying, well, you should have run the red wire to the battery. I don't really care. Uh, I know which way this is wired, and uh, we'll just run this wire out. It's got a little bit of red on it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this horn back here. That way I don't have the pressure of the horn pulling on this uh, wire nut and stuff here. And uh, I can work with this a little bit easier without having to hold the horn up all the time.
All right, we are almost there. So we're going to connect our long piece of wire uh, to this piece again with a little wire nut, and then uh, we just got to find our way to the battery. All right, so here I can actually fix my uh, wire color mistake. I'm going to run the red wire to the battery, positive terminal of the battery, even though it's the black wire here on the horn. Uh, I could have just went ahead and stick with the, the wrong color scheme because uh, Lord knows the people on YouTube need something to complain about. For some reason they call me an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. But I do things I'm not an expert at all time. Alright, so uh, we got that wire nutted up there. Now the mission is to fish this red wire up towards the battery to where it doesn't get burned on an exhaust or pinched by something uh, or anything like that. So um, that's our next problem to solve and uh, I'll probably do most of that off camera and then show you what we did once we uh, figure it all out. Alright, so uh, let me explain what we did here. Alright, so we got our wire here that comes off the horn and needs to go to the battery. I put a bread tie here. We're going to tighten that up and just kind of hold all these wires together like this. Uh, put another bread tie over here through that. There was an empty hole there uh, which will hold the wire that's going off to the battery. And then down here. And then down here by the fuel filter. Um, there's a, a wiring harness that was already here that kind of goes towards the front of the engine. So we're going to um, bread tie that together. I guess I could uh, kind of tighten these as I go. We'll come back and clip all those off. And then that comes through here. And I uh, got another bread tie uh, that we can tighten up here. Just to kind of hold that in place. And then there's another bread tie there, one there um, that we'll tighten up. And then it goes through a hole. Then it goes through a hole here where these, where these uh, wiring harnesses go. And I just fed it through that hole because it's, it's got a rather rubber grommet on it. So uh, that should protect it from from uh, rubbing and chafing and cutting through and then uh, it comes up here to the back of the battery up to the positive post of the battery and I uh, get another bread tie on there so that that way once I put this end on if I ever need to disconnect the battery it doesn't that wire doesn't fall down behind and I forget about it uh, to stay nice nicely with the, the positive terminal post and then uh, lastly I'll put this on here like that and uh, attach that so uh, once we get that done we'll uh, test it out and make sure the horn works All right, time to trim all these cable ties. That is a factory one. Make sure you don't cut your cable when you do that. Your wire. All right, now we have to test it out here. 